Hello, my name is Brian Pace at Table Tennis Test Rider, and today I'm going to review the Marlon 3. Now, when I first got this in the mail from Fast Paddle, uh, the first thing I noticed was uh, the packaging. It came in this beautiful, uh, bright red case with a picture of uh, Marlon on the front, and I thought, a uh, beautiful case, Marlon, this has to be fast. And I opened it up, and it didn't just say offensive plus, it said offensive plus plus now this made me happy and it made me cringe because this is the kind of racket that supports uh your game if you're an attacker but your short game and your touch shots may suffer so with this racket i'm going to go over the following barometers first barometer is hitting then blocking looping kind of looping drills a practice match and an overall review of touch. Now for this review, I'm gonna use two different types of rubber just so I can get feedback um, on how they perform. Uh, I'm gonna be using the Tunnel Beijing 4 and I'm gonna be using one sheet of Blue Fire. Unfortunately, they both happen to be red, but for testing purposes, it doesn't really matter. Forehand hit it. The very first thing I noticed is that this blade has a very, very big sweet spot. And that was apparent when I first started hitting forehand counter drives because I was able to get more power into my regular hit. Blocky, because this blade has a big sweet spot. You don't have to put a lot of effort into your block to control the ball. If you have good touch, you don't have to worry about this. If you're an attacker, this is the greatest benefit to having a big sweet spot because you can make minimal to good contact on a racket and still get maximal power. This was obvious with every loop that Richard was having problem with as I started to loop more and more because I was getting into my regular loop tempo, but the ball had about 10 to 15 percent more speed and spin on the ball. Kind of Kind of loop was a bit problematic because I was having problems finding the range with regards to my distance and my effort. But after a couple of minutes, I was able to get into the zone without having to modify my effort or my position. Practice drills. I wanted to stop assessing the Marlon blade skill by skill, and I wanted to do some drills that required me to just play without having to think about any details. My forehand loop was taking the stratospheric levels with regards to power and speed. The ball literally blasted off my racket, and any contact on the racket resulted in a home run. There weren't any occasion that I missed the ball by a large margin. And at no point did I ever feel like I was starting to lose control in extended rallies. practice match. This is when the rubber meets the road with regards to quality of play. I've been retired for about 18 months, but I still train once or twice a week with some of my students. Richard is the top player in the area winning all the tournaments, and in the practice match, he beats me more than I beat him. But today, I play at a level that was way above what I normally do. Basically, Richard was a witness to the power of Ma Long as I blasted four hand loops And backhand loops. What's interesting was it is typical to not get as much power on the backhand loop when you are running to make a backhand loop back to the backhand, but with the Marlon and the large sweet spot, I was able to not only make backhand loops, but I was able to make them from a position that had enough power for me to continue my attacks. There were some situations where I was able to simply blast a backhand loop uncontested. touch. 
This last barometer was touch and it performed way above normal. I was able to loop under spin without any problems and it had a tremendous amount of spin. I was able to slow loop the serve to take over the rally. I was able to execute textbook blocks without being affected by the high amount of speed of the Malong blade. I was able to do a perfect loop from a close position from Richard's flip without looping the ball deep. Most of all, I was able to keep my serves low and spinny along with having perfect control over my short returns. Uh, today, uh, I won the match 4-1 and I really have to give the credit to the Ma Long Blade and the Tuttle uh, Beijing 4 on the back end. If you've seen any of my reviews, uh, you see that I do a lot of uh, forehand loop and I win a lot of points that way. If you look at any of my tournament highlights, uh, you notice that, that I dominate the game with my forehand. But when you can start to get uh, points per game on the backhand loop that's when you you really know that you have a, a racket and a rubber that's special so listen if you're looking for a blade um, that has a huge sweet spot to maximize power but also uses that same sweet spot uh, to maximize touch um, and feel then go to fastpower.com and get the ma long blade because it is absolute fire My name is Brian Pace, and I'll see you on the table.